Hi, this is Behind the Kitchen Door and I'm Kim Jensen, your host today. We're going to be working with Blake Shar at Cooper's Corner in Lovely Door County in Fish Creek. And today he's going to show us how to use natural fresh ingredients with a pork tenderloin, a mango and pineapple chutney. So let's get working behind the kitchen door. Hey Blake. Hey Kim, how are you? I'm good, how are you today? You're welcome, good to see you. Good to see you too. Glad you could join me today. So what are we going to work on today? Today we're going to do a pork loin, grilled pork loin. Um, I'm going to do a little fusion. I'm going to mix it with uh, Caribbean jerk seasoning. I've got some olive oil. And we're gonna marinate it for about 15 minutes. And we're gonna go up to the stove and grill it up. Excellent. So I'm gonna start here. Got my pork loin. I've trimmed the fat off, discarded the fat. No need for extra fat. I left a little on to get some more flavor in there. It's gonna hopefully seep into the meat and help it up. But that's, well, that's why- natural I've, fat. And natural we're talking fat. natural sugars. Exactly. With. So I'm not adding any extra sugars, but I'm gonna add a little more flavor to it Excellent. with the Caribbean jerk. Sounds wonderful. So what we're gonna do here is just go through and cut about an inch thick steak, chops, excuse me. And of course, you're cutting with your knuckles. My Never knuckles. put your fingertips in right. there. I've got my fingers here. A lot of people you'll see and they'll lose a tip or two. So I bend it over and now I'm just running my knife across my fingers. Put our chops in the bowl here just to make it easier for seasoning and about, a, about two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, today I have a butter flavored olive oil just to give a little more flavor. We're just going to toss those in there. I don't want it too runny because then you're going to end up with a grease fire on the grill. Right. So I got a little Caribbean jerk. And when you're cutting meat, you want to make sure that you keep everything kind of the same size. So when you're grilling and cooking, you're cooking at the same temperature all the way through. Exactly. You don't want to serve, if you've got a party over, you don't want someone to have two inch thick chop and someone gets this little guy. Exactly. They're going to think you don't like them. At my house. Just kidding. The big guys get the big cuts. Right. So we're tossing this uh, with the Caribbean jerk. I'm going to let it marinate for about 15 minutes. If you've got an hour or two, let it marinate for the two hours after that. We're going to grill it. Um, would you do me a favor and wrap that and throw it sure. in the fridge while I wash my hands, please? Right. Oh, look at all those vegetables and fruit. Look at that Looks color, fantastic. huh? fantastic, yeah. Bright, bright, fresh ingredients. Um, I like to use colorful ingredients, you know? Use a white plate for a base and let the color and the food stand out on it. So we've let these pork chops marinate for about 15 minutes. Okay. Hold this now way. we're going to throw them on the grill and get them started. I cook it about medium well, so it's still got a little bit of pink in it. But it's cooked. Um, you'll get a few people now that'll go even medium. So we're gonna give her about two minutes and then flip her we'll over. Give her two minutes and flip her over. All right. And we're gonna be looking for some nice diamond marks. Oh, that color looks fantastic. That's it. We're gonna flip it, do another two minutes, and then flip it back over. On the side here, you'll see how it's starting to cook up. Mm -hmm. You'll see it start to come up. So when it's about when you start to see it rise up, the, the the cook piece, you flip it. And then once we see it again, we're gonna flip it one more time, and then we would go into our cherry barbecue sauce. I like to start it once we've got a nice sear on both sides. We got fresh cherries in there, ketchup, liquid smoke, Worcestershire. All the tools you need for All a barbecue. All the tools you need for a good barbecue. And again, it's got a light, it's got a light coating on there. Again, going back to the health conscious. All right, so should we get started on the salsa? We should. Let's right. go into the salsa here. Pan, please. All right. You can throw that out right on the stove there. All right. We mm, get that. Smell so that barbecue. That's so good. That way we get the pan kind of heating up there. So what we got? We got our hot pan on the stove here. We're gonna add a little olive oil. Again, going with a healthier choice as opposed to butter. We're gonna start with our red onions. We're gonna throw on our green bell peppers. Our red peppers. Give them a little quick toss. And just let them start to brown up a little bit. Um, those are gonna take a, another minute or so to break down as opposed to the pineapple and mango. We don't want it to become a a mushy salsa. We just want to kind of get the flavor to kind of permeate through each vegetable and combine the fragrances. We've got some nice color on our onions and our peppers, so we're going to add our pineapple, our mangoes. And as we all know, you know, like uh, Blake said, we use our garden, but there's, you know, certain times of years that things aren't in season. And what you're finding a lot of people doing is buying IQF products in the freezer. If I can't have the fresh, I go with the frozen. Mm -hmm. Keeps its nutrients. It's frozen right away mm -hmm. as soon as it's picked kind of thing. So then I added a tablespoon of curry and we're just going to get that curry flavor in there. You know, again, we're going back to our fusion. Okay, our final two ingredients, we're going to roll the basil up. Um, if you roll it up and chop it, it keeps it from turning brown. You're not breaking down as many cells. And you use a nice sharp knife. Nice sharp knife, correct. Um, and that is what we would call in the technical terms chiffonade basil. Ooh. We're going to add our fresh basil and our lime juice. It's amazing what lemon and lime can do to a recipe. So anytime you think something's missing, 
even salt. I'll put lemon in there before I put salt in any old egg. Correct. There's barely any recipes I put salt in it. Let's plate this dish. We've got our pork here. Look how beautiful that looks, nice and glazed. I might even hit it one more time with just a little extra sauce. You sound like Emerald Blake. Bam! Bam! Hit it! We're gonna place that in the center of the plate. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I am a vertical person as opposed to a horizontal, so I will stack everything up. Why um, do you think that is? I think it gives a third dimension. 3D all of a sudden, and then it's, it's popping out at you when it comes to the table. It's the wow factor for most people. So here's our beautiful grilled pork tenderloin with our fresh ingredients, mango, pineapple, peppers. Smells great with his cherry barbecue sauce, Blake's grilled pork tenderloin.